when you first heard about the Students Assisting Business Program, uh, what made you want to get involved? I thought this would be a great opportunity in the time of COVID where everyone's just stuck at home. My internship kind of fell through for the summer and I saw that this is a short project-based opportunity, so I thought this would be a great way to gain some experience and apply my classroom knowledge on a short-term basis. Did it work? <laughs> yes. What was your project? What did you work on? So my project was working with They Need XYZ, a local company who decided to start making masks for small businesses in need. So my project as an intern was to create these research guides for different types of businesses. We did nail salons, dentists, gyms, construction workers, that kind of stuff. So that way different businesses would have guides on, you know, what do I do? How do I keep a clean restaurant in between customers? Do I have to sanitize the booth every 10 minutes or what is it, you know? So creating that guideline for them to be able to say, okay, here's something backed by the University of Washington that's been thoroughly researched. And I know if I follow this guide, I'm okay. I know what to do, how to keep my business open. And if somebody does come down with COVID, I know what to do from there. And if I don't have the supplies or the resources that I need, I can come back to University of Washington or order from They Need XYZ to get what I need. So then once we created those research guides, we started selling the supplies to different businesses. Was it easy? Um, it was a bit challenging to read through the different you know, state guidelines, pretty dense material. It's not user friendly, but that's why we're here. None of the small businesses have the time to go through that kind of stuff. So if we did it for them and created a quick checklist for them, it's much easier for them. Did you think you were providing a value to the businesses? I'd say yes, an immense value. As a small business owner, you're so concerned about daily operations, staffing, all that kind of stuff that you don't have any idea how to go to the state for help or where to even start. So for someone to come to you and say, hey, I've made this resource for you, it's like, oh, okay, I can do this now. You talked to a lot of business owners. Did they seem to you that you were providing a value to them? I would say yes. Most of the time I started off the conversation asking them, asking them how things have been going during COVID, if they had a plan in place, if they had anything posted, and they were kind of like, uh, well, we wear our masks and have hand sanitizer. So it was really good to put out to them that there is more information to be learned than just masks and sanitizer in here. It's already ready for you. Did you apply any of what you've learned in class in the internship? I would say yes. A lot of the strategies I've learned in class of looking overall at the market and the bigger picture and then zoning in and thinking from the business perspective of what would we need to keep going internally as a manager what do I need to tell my people or as a marketing person you know how do we get this into market how do we get people to buy from us what is the story that we tell them and how do we attack it strategically what did you learn in your internship that you hadn't learned in class I would say in this internship I learned that there's not always a game plan in front of you with steps and objectives to meet you know in class when you're given a project there's always a guideline of how to do it or examples on previous projects in place and this was something that's never happened before we've never been in a pandemic like this we've never worked with a business where the students are there to help them but they only have an end goal in mind and the business just said okay, here's the end goal, but you need to decide how you get there. So to me, it was really eye-opening on how to start a project and get it organized and come up with those objectives that you normally see in a class assignment that weren't there before. There's no guidelines really along the way. So I had to come up with that for ourselves and then make sure we're hitting those milestones on track. So we ended up doing weekly meetings every Monday with They Need XYZ. Uh, Joel and Jack would zoom in with us and basically there'd be an update as to how far we had gotten through. If we had a document or research to turn in, we would look at that and then they would also send us some email lists of people to reach out to. But basically they were there to support us if we had any questions for them or just wanted to check in. But that's about it. It was just a quick weekly power meeting and then we were on our way by ourselves again. <laughs> if um, a fellow uh, business student at Millgard would come up to you and say, Rainy, what do you think? Should I try it too? What would you say? I would say absolutely. If you're someone who's only gone to classes and hasn't really started an internship yet because you're not there yet, I would say 
do it 100%. It's a quick delve into a business. You get to work directly with the business owners. It's not just according to some manager in a big corporation. These are actual local businesses who need our help. And it's a great way to apply classroom knowledge to a real world, world situation. And you have the support of the professors and the school behind you. So go for it.